Hey guys, I, I put up a video, I took it down because um, it was kind of going into a little hardcore about these programs and stuff like that and I thought, well, I'll, I better take that down. Um, but, uh, so I'll do another video. It's 5-16-2020, Saturday night. I'm sitting here having a couple beers and stuff and, you know, sometimes when you have a few beers, the truth comes out, you know, and you... you probably shouldn't go into great t detail about things you know but anyway kind of going back to that you know um you know do these guys think they have more power you know they they act like they have more power than they actually have and stuff and uh you know it's it's a uh, it's a psyop you guys um they want to intimidate us and they want to make us think they have all this power and all this stuff and they own the police and they own this and they own that, well, you know, and the, you know, whatever you say, you're gonna get in trouble. Um, that's really not the case, you know. I realize that, um, you know, the the police are involved in these programs. Certain police are involved in these programs. They're not doing it by choice, you know. They 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 have families and everything to take care of, and they need their job and all this stuff. So, are they gonna participate? probably you know not wanting to you know um and stuff so uh you know i just wanted to mention that really quick um other than that uh there's been uh i mean it hasn't been that bad of a day they haven't been hitting me that bad um it's almost like it's almost like when they tell them to take it off the you know they they you know, somebody tells them to take it easy on me on the weapons. Then um, they'll be like, whoa, we'll harass them in person and uh, all this stuff. You know, so then it seems like I get more in in-person harassment. Um, but these people think they have all this power. You know, like these regular people, gang stalkers and stuff like that. They think they have all this power. And they look look at you at a certain way, and they they look at you like you're doing something wrong. And oh, you know, I'm taking my dog to the park, and they give you these these looks looks to kill, you know, and stuff like that. And it's just uh, <laughs> you know, it's you have to look past that stuff. It's a psy up, you know. I don't know what they're telling these people. I really don't. Um, you know, I was thinking about stuff today, you know, it's like, you know, it's just, oh, it's so stupid. You know, I'm getting burnt out on this program. Um, it's the same old shit. People banging and looking, giving you dirty looks and all this stuff. I mean, you know, it's been going on for six years, you know, it's like, um, you get sick of it after a while. You know, it, it, these people can't do anything, you know. I mean, they can bang and slam their doors and all this stuff. That's all they can do, you know. I mean, they don't, you know, they'd lay their hands on us, you know, and they'd probably be gone if they actually laid their hands on us and stuff, you know. It's just, uh, I don't know. I'm getting sick of it already, you know, it's been six years of this crap, and I, I need a break, is what I need, I need a break, I need to go camping, you know, but I can't go camping for another two weeks, you know, that would kind of clear my mind up, have a campfire, have a couple beers with the dog and all this stuff, and just chill, or get away, even though the perps are up there, and they're kind of banging around and stuff like that, but you can... You know, the thing is, is that you can tell that some people don't want to participate in this program. You know, I took a drive tonight, and I was thinking about uh, my dentist, my old dentist. Um, they got to them. You know, they, they went to my dentist, and and he my dentist was validating their technology. Uh, the whole time I was getting a root canal. He was validating their technology. You know, he would rub rub his forearm, you know, kind of hit my mouth. You know, not really hit my mouth, but rub his forearm on my chin. 
every time they validate their technology, they were putting so many images in my head. You know, and he, the dentist was validating their technology. You know, so I was thinking about that today, you know. And then soon after, he retired. So I don't know what happened with that. I didn't think he was going to retire. You know, and then a couple months later, he retired. You know, so weird things like that have been happening um, in my program. You know, so... Um, but uh, they had, um, when I was getting the uh, Novocaine in, they usually numb your gum up. You know, they numb the gum up. And then they give you the shot. Well, last time I was there, he didn't numb my gum up. And he gave me a straight shot of Novocaine. You know, it it was painful, you know. These people want to see you hurt. They're, they're, you know, these people get aroused. They get sexually aroused on torture. And they get sexually aroused on people's pain. You know, they want to see you in pain. It's really disgusting and effed up. You know, um, another time I was, I went downtown. I had to get a shot every two weeks of Risperdal you know I went down there and there was a nurse I'd never seen before and um, she was giving me the shot like I say my, my purpose get V2K to tell them what to do you know I, I know some people say they have an earpiece and all that stuff but my my purpose get V2K um, to tell them what to do in this nurse you know she she put that shot in me so fast in my arm that I was in pain you know and then I never seen her again you know I never seen her after that again you know um I think a lot of these people don't want to participate in this stuff you know they're they're in the medical field they're they're here to help people you know and then you got your perps that don't understand that you know they they you know, they're asking these innocent people to hurt you. You know, put a shot really fast in his arm so it's painful. It's burning pain. You know, or don't don't numb up his gum before you put the Novocaine in. You know, and these, want, these people want to see you in pain. And um, they don't understand that people don't want to participate in this. They don't want to cause you pain. You know, I knew my mom worked for this dentist. You know, he doesn't want to hurt me. You know, I kind of got special treatment because my mom used to work for him. He didn't want to hurt me, you know. And then they ask them to hurt you. You know, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's really sick. It's effed up, you know, to say the least. I mean, um... You know, these people are so evil. They're they're so evil in my program. They're just um they'd kill me in a heartbeat. You know, they would uh kill me in a heartbeat. Um you know, they don't value life. Um when I was in this in the psych ward for the second time, they're like, Oh, we value life and oh bullshit. They don't value your your life. They don't. Um, they think you're a big lab rat. Um, they degrade you so much. Um, sexually de degrade you. Um, you know. Um, you know. They. They. Uh, you know. They're, they're controlling my. Um, you know. They. They're controlling. You know. Um, my private parts, you know, um, you know, they, I don't get an erection unless they say I get an erection, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're controlling my, my private parts, you know, when they want to violate my body at nighttime, then they'll give me an erection, you know, other than that, I can't get an erection, you know, I mean, they're, you know, they're totally controlling that, you know, 
it's really sick it's really you know they violate every part of our body every part of our life they violate you know um America would be outraged if this came out. If they knew what they were doing to us, you know, sexually assaulting us. There's 70 year old women out there that they sexually ins assault. I mean, you know, I've seen the videos of it on YouTube. You know, how disgusting is, you know, what kind of person does that? Where do they find these people? You know? It's it's just it's unreal. The whole thing is just unreal, you know? I mean this program, if you're a real target and you're going through mind control and all this stuff and they sexually assault you and they manipulate your dreams and you know, like I had a I was having a dream today. I, they woke me up at five o'clock in the morning and I was sleeping, but I was like going through my dream, you know, and then they banged because it was like, I was almost sleeping and having a real dream. You know, they um, uh, broke that up. So, you know, I woke up and all this stuff, had a cup of coffee and all that stuff. You know, and then try to get back to sleep. Um, it's just, they're violating every part of our life. You know, um, if people knew that, they wouldn't, I don't, you know, I don't think they would let us go through that. You know, um, it's just, it's really screwed up, you guys. You know, that uh, we don't have any privacy, you know. I mean, you know, I'm sitting here going to the bathroom. I'm like, yeah, you voyeurs are sitting here watching me going to the bathroom. You like that, huh? You know, I'll sit there and talk back to these guys all the time, you know. Because they're a bunch of perverts and voyeurs and all this stuff. You can't even go to the bathroom by yourself. You can't take a shower by yourself or a bath, you know, by yourself, you know. Every part of our life is violated by these people. Our brains, our thoughts, our thinking. You know, if people knew that, if people knew what was going on, there would be an uproar. And there'd be, there would be riots. And people would be demanding this to stop. You know, how many people do we have to, you know, people say there's 2 million of us, 3 million of us. I don't believe those numbers. I don't believe it for one minute. You know, maybe, maybe the people don't know that they're being hit. But as far as the ones that are being hit, I don't think the numbers are there. Otherwise, we'd be all right, you know we would have an army of TIs and we, we would outnumber these people, you know, if, you know, <coughs> and some of the TI videos that have gotten 200,000 views, 300,000 views, where are those people? Where in the heck are those people? If we had those people, if we had those kind of, kinds of numbers, we would be able to overthrow the government in Washington, D.C. They would have to listen to us. You know, where are these people? Why won't they stick up for themselves? You know, if we had 10,000 people in Washington, D.C., they would have to listen to us. You know? I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth on this video. I'm sorry for that, you guys. Um... But anyway, I'm going to cut this off, and I hope you guys are having a good weekend, and I will talk to you later.